Okay, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our lesson two. Today lesson will go through LO2 learning outcome two, which is understanding the institution of the European Union. So we'll discuss some institution of European Union. My name is Anjum Sattar and my email address is anjum at ukversity.co.uk. If you have any question, please drop me email and my email address. Okay, so today let's an indicative content what we supposed to will discuss EU institution, composition, functions, powers, parliaments, EMPs, maximum size 751 members, national core quotas for each country and legislative powers, budgetary powers and ministers. So these are the key things, you know, the court of justice of the European Union composition, court system, jurisdictions, those and the numbers and the voting and the majority and the qualified norms and all these, you know, anomalous decisions. So that's all will be in our discussion. So which will try to be our discussion will cover all these, you know. So first assessment, we have assessment criteria 2.1 is evaluate the function and the power of EU institution. The parliament is co-legislator in the EU and it has the power to adopt and amend the legislation and decide the annual EU budget on an equal footing with the council. So the supervises the work of the commission and other EU bodies and cooperate with the national parliament of EU country to receive their input. So the EU uh, countries parliament such as the UK parliament and various other the UK is now outside the EU and some tree is a bit treaties involved, but it's not full treaty anymore. Okay, the main European institution, European Council. So that's main European Council. So we can look separately. European Commission, Council of European Union and European Parliament. So these are the main institution in within EU. <clears throat> okay, next now we have a unique institutional setup. In the EU, unique institutional setup is the EU broad priorities are set by the European Council, which bring together the national and EU level leaders, directly elect MEPs, which is called Member of European Parliament, and represent the European citizen in the European Parliament. So the interests of EU as a whole are promoted by the European Commission, whose members are appointed by the national government, and the government defend their own country's national interests. So they defend their national country's own interests. So every country has its own interests, like UK interests not met, that's why the the UK government decide to leave the European Union. The UK government decide to leave the European Union based on because their interests not met according to and the number of you know other reasons of course you know. So that's one of the reasons as well. So we need to be look around if their interests not met so the people can leave leave the European Union. Okay, so that's the big we have a concern. So if the union is hung, so that's we need to be look around. Okay, so EU as a whole promote European Commission and the members appointed by the national government and the government defend their own country's interest in the Council of the European Union, like we said earlier. So then next we have setting the agenda. The the European Council is set the EU overall political direction, but has no power to pass the laws and led by the Parliament. Currently, Charles is is uh, the member of uh, the president. We can say and they comprising the national head of states are uh, the government and the president of the commission it meets a few days at the time at least twice every six months at least twice every six months so there are the three main institutions involved eu legislation european parliament 
which represent EU citizen and directly elected by them, and Council of European Union, which represent the government of individual member country, and the presidencies of the Council is shared by the member state on a rotating basis, and the European Commission, which represent the interests of the Union, as a whole. Together, there are the three institutions produce ordinary legislative procedures. The policies and the laws apply throughout the EU. The principal commission composed of the new laws, parliament and the council adopt them. The commission and the member country then implement and the commission ensure the laws are properly applied. Decision making in more EUs in the procedure. So guys, if you want to be further, so just click control and you can that will you know take you to further reading huh, this link. So list of precedents of the council which have been passed. So that's you know we can look around as well. I copied the link on the next slide as well for you. Okay, so next you know we can look around a unique institutional setup. The EU unique the EU broad priority to be set the European Council bring the EU leaders direct, you know, like we said, I'm sorry, this should we go next slide. And EU laws, EU legislation is divided into two is the primary and secondary. The treaties primary legislation, the legislation are based on the ground rule for all EU actions. And the secondary legislation, which include the regulation, directive, and the decisions are derived from the principle and objective set out the treaty. How the EU decisions are made, EU treaties, regulation, directive, application of EU laws, find the legislation and find the case laws. So these are all the link control. If you click, you know, that will take you the link to. So that's, you know, the key and the policy that's all, you know, in the secondary will come. Okay, next now, uh, here is a link, you know, as well for further reading. Okay, next please, we look around the examine the extent jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice. So first, if you look at the role of EU, EU body with the legislative supervisory and the budgetary responsibility, 705 members, and the president, this, you know, is increased because the more, you know, the country join and the president is there. Yes, David. And they, then 1952, a common assembly and these, you know, the, the key dates when the first, you know, direct elections happen. They in Brussels, Belgium, and these were the location in France. Okay, next now. If you want to please read more so you can copy link and we can read more yes. about next we looking okay. welcome okay welcome can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, next we're discussing about ECJ, is called European Court of Justice. So can hear the cases from the national courts throughout the plenary ruling system. And this involves the national court referring a question on interpretation of EU laws to ECJs. And ECJ decide the correct interpretation and send the case back to the national court for final decision. So if the some interpretation of the laws not properly in, in the countries, those are members, then it goes to the ECJ, the European Court of Justice, and the European Court of Justice interpret the final decision and they can be amended and change it accordingly. The European Court of Justice, EU, interpret EU laws and although the UK has left the EU, CJ, EU will be continued to have a jurisdiction some matters affecting the UK during. Uh, no problem, that's fine. 
So that's, you know, we need to be look around in. So that's ECJ is quite popular. So that's why the UK is left, you know, because the lot of legislation the UK need to be and supposed to be and should be and must be follow these. So that's why the, the UK after Brexit, you're not following full. It is the responsibility for the jurisdiction of the European Union. The court ensure the correct interpretation and application of primary and the secondary EU laws in EU and the review legality of act EU institutions and decide, you know, whether the member state uh, fulfill their obligation under the primary and secondary law. The Court of Justice of the European Union interpret EU laws, make sure applied the same way in all EU countries. Set up the legal dispute between the national government and EU institutions. That's the key purpose of European Court of Justice, which is based in the Luxembourg, and it is one judge per member country but and so that's you know and this means the 28 judges but they usually sit odd numbers so there are always the majority decision the court decide you know whether eu laws and the action commissions and the member state confirm the funding treaties the us for yes so they impose the fines and member state Violate EU law sees the note of the judiciary and the reason European Court of Justice so important rest of the two essential cases. So, which is thus you know the case when Jen those in 19 Dutch transport firms, which is the case law, and this is one ruled you know the member state you know definitely transfer one right to the community. So thus you know what the that you know the court can be intervened. So next slide will show how the court system work in. So the EU dispute the resolution proposal. So is the EU laws related? Yes, the commission send formal notice to the states. States given the opportunity to respond. If not resolved, the commission deliver a reasonable option. State given the opportunity to respond. So if they not resolve the commission open proceeding before the ECJs and ECJs reach the decision which is binding on the parties and if the state does not comply with the commission may open further proceeding before ECJs and EJs may be imposed fines. So then if no discuss the joint committee not resolve joint committee so these are the further actions can be so the ECJ is uh, interpret and so next slide will show the court of the justice of European Union consists of three courts. The court of justice, 27 judge, one from each member state and eight advocate general. General court, 27 judge, no permanent and the civil service tribunal seven judge. So this is the represent and they do and make the decision about the matters if the matters is not interpreted properly in the uh, in the individual countries. Okay. Then this is the judges which used to be and used to be represent and the president in the European Union in these countries in these years. And then it is the responsibility of the Court of Justice to ensure the law observe interpretation and application of the treaty within the European Union. To ensure the carried out the duty, the court has a broad jurisdiction to hear various types of action. The court competence to, among other actions, rule on the application meant of and actions for the failure to act brought by the member state are the institution and take action against the member state for the failure to fulfill the obligation. And here the reference, the preliminary ruling and appeals again the decision of the general court. So that's, you know, is the key purpose and the jury action of ECJ, European Court of Justice. Okay, any question? So, Okay.
So that's, you know, that was, yes, please, if you have a question, you can ask. Okay, next we looking action um, for the free. Sorry, one second. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, brilliant. That's fine. Thank you. So then, you know, we're looking at the treaty on the funding of the European Union, which is I copied the link for you to be properly all the laws and the powers. So France versus the United Kingdom and these case laws, you know, being settled within the European Union and the failure and the obligation, if anything, so European Court of Justice can decide and they decided in the past. So these are all the case laws, you know, which we can copy the link and we can further read as well. That's all the, okay, next we're looking at, which is 2.3, explain the voting system in EU Council. Depending on the issues under the discussion, the Council EU, it's the decision by the simple majority of 14 vote in the favor and qualified majority. Member states and EU. Okay, so this is this is all about the so simple majority, fourteen state qualifying majority, fifty five percent, and at least sixty five percent of the EU population and vote in the favor and anonymous vote all the votes are in favor so that's you know the and that's the voting system normally work in EU then the council can vote only if the majority of its member is a present and the member of the council may only act on the behalf of one other member and the council can vote on the legislative act eight weeks after the draft act. So then you have the national parliament for their examination. And the national parliament have to decide whether the draft legislation comply with the principle of subsidy and the earlier voting is only possible in special urgent cases. So voting is initiated by the president of the council. The member council of the commission can also initiative the voting procedure, but the majority of the council member have to be approved this initiative. The result of the council vote automatically made the public when the council act in the capacity of the legislator. And if the member want to be add, you know, explanatory note on the, uh, to the vote, and the note also be made the public. The legal act is adopted and other cases when the explanation votes are not automatically published. It can be made public and the request so we can uh, by the author, you know, so it's mean the pub that, you know, the court can be and they they can show that the parliament can be published that and under ICO is called Information Commission of is a, yes, and uh, we have a Information Commission Act as well information. Uh, yes, it's the European Union Information Commission. So we have a that's why with GDPR we have a general data protection legislation which been changed in 2018 about that's you know all about it all the legislation passed in the parliament. Okay, so there is a no legal effect on the political instrument intent and facilitate the decision making. That's you know the purpose of okay. So the council has to vote anonymously on the number of matters which are member state you know, considered to be sensitive. For example, the common foreign and security policy. Yes, the cases are required to be qualified majority. Citizenship granting the new rights to EU citizen, EU member, or immunization to the national legislation and indirect access. EU finances own resources and multinational finance framework and certain provision field, you know, of the justice and home affairs and the organized one system for all 28 states. Now it's of course, you know, the UK left now. 
so this is you know that's all the purpose of these voting and the purpose and the majority and anomalous you know so that's we discuss 14 state out of 28 okay so next now 2.1 is balance of power between the eu and the national what is the how is the balance of power so eu institution european commission the council of eu they make the decision in the parliament and economics and the social committee and the committee of the regions then the european council provide the guidance european court of justice and european court of arbitrary uh, so that's you know they set all the procedures as well so eu has the power lay down the rules on the value added tax which we call vat here yes between the member state example but making the changes those rule required every country to be agree so every member has to be veto when it's come to the vat and other taxes the eu has adopted the charter of fundamental rights to the limit its own power that's the key and uh, when we look the european court council and european commission so we have european court of justice european central bank so these are all the citizen of the member states and can be and these are all the institution which have to be uh, uh, has the powers and they follow and they, they uh, yes develop all the laws you know those are required to be promote or harmonize system within eu so from 1815 to 1817 napoleon near s domination of the europe europe and then the european power developed a system military and political balance with the creation of germany in 1871 old balance of power involving france and Austria, Hungary, Russia, with replaced by the new system. The Commission is EU institution, has the monopoly on the legislative initiative and the important executive power in the policies such as the competition and external trade. So it is negotiated that adopt the new EU legislation, adopt so when it's necessary and coordinate the policy. In most cases, the Council decide together with the European Parliament. through the ordinary legislative procedures and also known code cns so that's you know the key purpose so further i copied the link for you for further reading please we can do for further enhance our understanding on these you know so today lesson we discuss our lo was lo to understand the institution so we look around the institution we look around the voting procedures so we look around the parliament and these were the key institutions which we discussed the european council european commission european union and the european parliament so these are the key you know the institution and even we discussed you know the european banks and all so that was the key in uh our 2.1 which we discussed and 2.2 was about the court and the judges the systems and and the jurisdiction of the court and the, then 2.3 was about the voting yes so that's all you know this learning and then the criteria what the power in each country has yes so that's all been explained so that's all today lesson guys if you have any question so please drop me email and uh, i'll get back to you and i hope you know speak to you all during our next session uh will be and in which you know we'll go through lo3 thanks for listening and attending and i hope speak to you all during our next thank you bye bye